Hi YouTube, welcome to my floor. Nintendo provided me with something super exciting, which you see back here, Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which is the new Mario Kart experience where you get like your own little car and you set up your own track in your house and it uses AR uh, through the Switch to play Mario Kart in your home. And I am straight up not sure if I can use it. Let me explain why. Here we go! Part of the reason I started filming from my floor was so that I could I could show you I live in a very small apartment. This is my computer room. This is the room that I usually play Switch in. It's where I stream from. It's also my cosplay room. So as any cosplayer can tell you, there's random mod podge of crafting things everywhere. So there's two things that I really have to do. The first is I have to empty this room as much as I can, at least push things out temporarily or whatever. But then the second thing is I have to test and see if this room can even be big enough for a complete circuit. Um, Cause if the car can't drive in a circle, then I can't, I can't really do anything or maybe like a figure eight. So if you like me are wondering whether your room or your home or apartment is big enough to uh, actually use Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, then hopefully this video answers those questions. I don't know the answer yet. We're gonna find out hopefully really quick. And assuming that all works out, I'm super excited to build just the best Nintendo track possible. I have so much Nintendo stuff in my home and I'm, very excited to put it to good use here. Nintendo did also send like these plastic cones and some stackable cups. So I'm looking forward to whatever we end up doing. But first, let's make sure that we can actually make something happen here. So I'll be right back. Mwah. Okay, so it's definitely not as clean as it could be. I definitely need to sweep, but this is pretty much like the full open area, at least, so I can see if I have enough space to create a full circuit. Um, it feels pretty small still, so fingers crossed that this works. I actually grabbed my tape measure so I can tell you how big this room is, or at least the usable space, I should say. It's about seven and a half feet by six feet. You know, not great, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right. All right, in case it's not obvious by uh, the glasses, the birds chirping outside, my general disheveled appearance. Oh, also <laughs> pajama pants. It's the next morning. I did not change my shirt, so whatever. I intended to do all of this yesterday, but it took a really long time to clean up. And then I ended up having to charge my camera and I had to charge the actual Mario Kart. And here we are. I think I've got everything kind of ready to set up here. I've got the Mario Kart with this little webcam here. And I've also got the box of goodies that comes with uh, the game. These are what we need to set up in this room and make sure we have enough space to use. I've also downloaded the game on my Switch. It's a free download, so even if you don't have the cart yet, you can download it. I don't think it's gonna do you any good, but you can. All right, so I'm gonna finish this coffee and let's go. Let's... Vroom, vroom.
so it seems like I'm able to make this work. My feet were kind of in the way and my tripod legs were in the way, but I, I think I can fix that uh, in the final production. Uh, but what I'm finding is that I think kind of the, the sandbox mode, the, um, that's not the right word, the explore mode, where I'm not having to actually race people is what we're gonna spend the most time in. But the actual, the race itself worked. It was functional. I'm looking back and forth between a, a car and an actual camera, so. There's still so much mess in this room. So the actual purpose of this video is to create the best Nintendo course possible with all of the Nintendo stuff. I have so much. Nintendo sent more. There's just so many Nintendo things in this apartment. I'm a huge pack rat specifically for Nintendo stuff. So finally I'm putting some of it to good use in this Mario Kart uh, home course here. It's going to be just wonderful. But we have to go shopping within my own home and see what we can find. It's gonna be great. We're gonna make a little stockpile in this room. So let me switch back to our real camera now. I'll see you in a moment. Mwah. Let's go. Got these plushies that Nintendo sent. And the cones, definitely. We'll find a way to use those. And these paper cups, which are very stackable. This is, I think, I think, yes, a, my Nintendo washcloth, I don't know, to the pile. Oh, another Master Sword, though. This will just be the track of Master Swords. You. If I run out of things, I could probably just kind of line my track with Amiibo and uh, switch cases. I should probably throw away this pumpkin before it rots, but we'll worry about that later. I got this weird mirror. Look, it's me. Back when Super Mario 3D Land came out. I don't know, I can do something with that. There should be quite a bit in this room. These are decks of Pokemon cards. People always ask if I actually play. I do. Move this out of the way. Jibanyan? Yes. I've got these like little teeny tiny Animal Crossing figures, but they're so small. I'm worried that they're gonna get pushed around. I might bring them in there anyway. I'll take this Pikachu. Ah, mother load. Yoink. Double yoink. Ooh, good. Thank you. Not you. You are frightening. There's a baby down here. No, thank you. Aha! Yes, 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 yes. This counts, right? This would be great if I had already built it. But as you can tell, it is still in the box. I'll bring it in there if I really need a background. Snorlax. I don't know if I can fit him, but I'll try. The ring fit. Can I do anything with this? Can I get the car to like drive through the hoop? I don't know, maybe there's something there. Look who I found hiding among the little Animal Crossing villagers. He's perfect. Don't you talk to me or my son ever again. I've got these two guys too. They were on a cold stone cake. And now they live in my hearts. Don't you ever talk to me or my son or my son's friend or my littler son ever again. gonna get a better view of this when I'm actually driving around but wanted to give you a quick tour so you don't miss out on anything. I've got my switch cases set up to kind of block off some of the non-Nintendo 
views. The ring fit or the ring con hopefully maybe can be driven through. Not sure yet. As you head past gate two, I've set up quite a few things in the background, uh, kind of decorative, but also Oops. to block the garbage behind it. Uh, through gate three, we've got Link pointing his bow and arrow directly at the cart. We've got a nice stacked set of cups with Jigglypuff peeking through. Komajiro's not paying attention on his phone over at gate four. Luigi is doing, I don't know, some kind of guarding. And we've got a little audience over here that hopefully won't get run over because they're really tiny. They might not survive. So that's it. Nothing left to do but test it out. Let's go. <laughs> I guess there you have it folks um it works it's functional some final thoughts I, I think it's actually really fun to put things down in the the track that are um obstacles that you'll actually physically run into especially things like the paper cups that aren't gonna like get caught on the wheels and things like that uh, some of the things that I would avoid are like the little tiny Animal Crossing figures that actually literally like got stuck in the, the wheel well of my poor little Mario Kart. Um, driving through the ring con did not work for the record. Now you know. I think this really answered my question though. You don't need a huge space in order to actually play this game, which I thought you probably did. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I was able to set up something that was pretty fun. I think I, if there were less obstacles, it would be more of like a game and I could spread out a lot more, but I decided to overcomplicate things as I am prone to do. So there we are. Overall, I'm pretty excited. I have a lot to clean up now, so I'm not super excited about that, but I 
really think that this is, you know, a quality game. It's going to probably be pretty popular around Christmas time. I can see why people might be really excited about this. I'm really glad that these, um, these gates fold up. These gates actually fold back up really nicely and they have a little spot to go back into. So that's really exciting so that I can actually clean up. It's not quite like Labo where you build something and then you have this big cardboard thing and you have to do something with it. These will actually go back in their box, which is wonderful. I'm really sweaty. I don't know if you can tell, I worked up a sweat putting this together. So I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun. Uh, a big thank you again to Nintendo for sending the Mario Kart. I kind of want to get the Luigi one now so that I can uh, bring it places and play with friends. Maybe we can set up kind of like themed tracks and things like that. Thank you, Nintendo. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week, uh, and I'll talk to you all soon. Love you. Diku, diku, diku.